Hi, my name is Brent Atwater, and in today's Pet Loss TV question, it's a somber one that says, when do I know how to put my pet down? One of the things we did on our sister station, Pet Loss Radio, was put together a show from a spiritual vet technician and professional bereavement counselor's point of view of the entire death process. So go to the comments below and you'll see a link to that show and I think you'll enjoy listening to it because it will give you great insight into the transition process. Once again, it's from a vet technician's point of view, a spiritual point of view, and a professional bereavement counselor's point of view, all the while from beginning to crossing over. And we feel that's a very strong show that will help your heart understand the process. Now, while we're talking today, when you say, let's put my pet down or I have to put my pet down and that just inside you causes such angst. What we want you to know is that only the fursuit is being quote put down. You can't put down an animal's energy or their soul or their spirit because energy is what gives the living to every being. Let me say that again. Energy, the electromagnetic energy that inhabits everybody, a tree, a fish, a chicken, a bird, you name it, that electromagnetic energy is what keeps the fursuit alive. So when you say put down, you're only putting down the fursuit like putting down a coat after you finish wearing it. And that's what's important for you to know. So try to think about helping your pet transition. And what they're doing is transitioning from a fursuit that is used, that is worn, that is dehabilitated, that is not able to regenerate and restore to health again. And it's that time for that fursuit to be put down so that their everlasting and ever-living energy can go on to all there is and transition into all there is and be alive and well with you from the other side. Because I look at and talk to and see dead pets and dead pet spirits. And I watch them through the euthanasia process. I talk to them the entire time. I watch them transition over the death line, which is a black, dark, electromagnetic gap because there's no energy in there. And then they cross to the other side and become beautiful sparkler forms. So really, you're not putting down your pet. You're just putting down the fursuit, like putting down a winter coat when it's finished. And what you're doing is you're transitioning your pet from an earth vehicle, which is the body it used while it was here, to the other side in a beautiful sparkler form. And all the time they're talking and are wild and well and happy and ready to be with you. And a lot of times when I'm talking to the pets in transition, they're more worried about you being upset than they're worried about them being upset because the minute, key word, the minute they leave the fursuit, they're alive, they're well, they're fine. They don't have to rest, they don't have to worry. It's like, go party, give me a ball, let's go play. So what we want you to do today, if you can, and I know during this time, it's horrific. Keep, heinous, horrific, use the best word, tears your soul out, tears your guts out. I understand that. But we want you to think of it as transition. And if that helps just a little bitty bit, then that's what's important. Because once your pet leaves his first suit, they're alive and well on the other side. And looking forward to talking to you and sending you signs and going, okay, mom, let's finish our journey of life together. I may just be in steam form, and I know that's not as good as hurting my fursuit, but it's better than just thinking that Fluffy's gone forever when you put them down. They're not. They're just discarding that winter suit, or that fursuit, or that feather suit, or that fin suit, and they're ready to go on. And sometimes they come and re-inhabit another fursuit. Thanks for listening today. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week. And be sure to look at our archives of shows. We have lots of questions that are answered on a weekly basis, and we've built up quite an archive. And we invite you to look at those to see if it'll help heal your heart. Thanks for listening. See you next week. Subscribe and stay tuned. Bye-bye.